Okay, so I've finally dealt with my stupid problem with my end stops. Um, you can see how terribly I messed it up. Uh, I got to a point where basically my screws were interfering with the movement of my probe, so it's not very helpful. Um, but simple fix basically zip ties are like my best friend in the world I love zip ties so much um, and I really think that this is stable enough I tighten the crap out of it um, so yeah I also found some of this heat shrink tubing now this is not normal heat shrink tubing this is like super hard heat shrink tubing very very stiff and the reason you want that really stiff um, heat shrink tubing is because when it comes up to when it comes up to retract it sweeps the side and uh, it's supposed to catch on this so that's why you need that so like I said we get to that point that we want to make sure that our switch is tripped whenever we come down and I don't know if you can hear that but I'll put this by the speaker we need to make sure that we're bottoming out at some point okay and now as we move forward we need to keep in mind that the auto level routine for the console has the home position for has the uh, the, the trip this position uh, facing facing the Z pillar and now that's going to be fun to deal with um, now when you need to make sure that once you've get got this attached that your springs are strong enough to pull it down and trip the trigger because instead of normally open like we have the uh, the end stops these are going to be normally closed so that when it's when it's pressed when the button is pressed that means that it's off okay so um, what we're going to use to attach this are our short six millimeter screws I'll go ahead and attach it and then we'll go from there. 